Hi, hello. Ladies, gentlemen, beloved friends and family, welcome. This is the part where I'm supposed to give a long-winded speech or lecture about what love is and why it's special and all that, but as I've third-wheeled with you guys a lot, <laughs> I don't think there's anything I can add. Never in my wildest of dreams did I picture myself with a stubborn yet accepting, grumpy yet loving nerd of a doctor from the very weird state of Texas. Through all of the playful grief that you give me, I promise to continue to be your lion, and I promise to snarl for both the causes of good and evil, and be the best of mother to our fur son, Trekkerton. That's it. That was lovely. Thank you. Kind of relieved I had this whole thing filled out, but I don't think there's much I could add, in all honesty. <laughs> <laughs> Over the past four years. Just do the spark notes. I love you, Dan. Okay, read it later. Bye. <laughs> all right, that's better. I love you, the beginning. <laughs> yeah, okay. All any of us ever want for our kids is for them to be happy and safe. I come from a, a strong background. My dad was a Marine. You knew you were safe. You knew you were protected. You knew you were taken care of. I was in law enforcement for a number of years. She's always been the most important thing. All you want to do, every fiber of your being, is to keep her safe. And in law enforcement, we have a saying when it comes time to your end of watch. And that was my biggest fear. Who would take care of my greatest treasure at my end of watch. He's gonna stay in the watch now. It makes me very pleased and proud that Nathan is now going to take care of my daughter for the rest of their time together. So for everybody, health and happiness. Nathan, you've made my friends so incredibly happy. We love that you put up with us when we all hang out as a group and spaz out. And Courtney, honestly, she has been ready to be your wife from like the get-go. So you're getting a good one here, buddy. 